Welcome to Overgo World, making your life better through tech, vacations and other great things. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss out on our latest videos. So we're here today with the Antler suitcase. So when you take it out of the box, what you get is this. So this is the large size, so it is 80 centimeters. When you take it out of the box, it's got the dimensions actually on the label itself. So it does actually say it's 80 centimeters by 51.5 by 34.5 to 37.5. If you're wondering about that last uh, measurement, why is there sort of a, a two centimeter uh, sort of difference on that? This is because it is an expandable suitcase. So if you have a look here, there's another zip here. If you open that up, that gives you some additional flex when you open that all the way around in case you suddenly bought some more things for your holiday, you need a bit more expansion. So that's the expandable zip there. It comes with uh, the usual way of locking. So those go into there, that's the zip. So when you open that up, put them into there and you click them into here to lock them. And when you want to open, you just press that and they will come out to unzip it. So it's got a handle here for carrying. It has an additional handle over here. The uh, suitcase itself is quite light. I think it's about five kilograms. Um, it says on here, maximum volume, 142 to 155 uh, liters. And this is the Clifton 80 centimeter uh, as you want. It comes with a telescopic handle as well. So you've got two buttons, you can press either one. And when you're pressing it, it just comes up, push it down and you, so you've got different heights and it's locked into that position. The other thing it does allow you to do is it actually uh, also rotates as well. So if you're pulling it and you, you do want to tilt it, you've got a bit of rotation on there as well. Um, being a four wheeled uh, suitcase, so if I flip that onto the bottom, see good size wheels there. So when you are taking it along, rather than having to do what you had to do with some of the older ones where you had to sort of pull it diagonally, you can just have that going alongside you like that. The other uh, thing is with this, it does come with a 10 year international warranty from Antler. Um, and um, also with this, you can see that it's got these on the bottom so that when you do place it on the bottom that it will then sort of stay above the ground so that's quite useful as well uh, the, as you can see material is quite strong and hardy so that's quite useful so it's a hard case suitcase if I just unzip this so you can sort of see the inside So just unzipping it both ways here. And just flip that over. So what you've got here, you've got the two sides. I quite like having suitcases which have these sort of two types of compartments. The reason why is with just one when you're opening it up you've got this way you can sort of split what you've got in one compartment what you've got in the other because on this side so that's all all flat there's just some air in there at the moment but if i flip this over zip that up then i've got all of that separate from that and i when i'm on holiday if i've got different items i can just go into which area i want this one has got the uh the usual sort of clothes strap so you can just sort of click that in. And again, there's some give there in case you need to uh, sort of need a bit of slack on there. Just attaches there, click that, opens up. So good amount of uh, depth there. You have some additional zips here if you want to put other items within the zip pockets. So one there, another one here as well. So. Seems like a um, quite a robust suitcase, good storage space there as well. What I am gonna do is I'll just give you an inside measurement. So I'm just gonna grab a tape measure and I'll just let you know what that is as well. 
So if you just put that in there, you can see it's just around about sort of 15 centimeters depth there. The inside there is probably, so we've got a bit of, we've got a bit of, so it's just under 70 centimeters, probably about 69, 69 ish centimeters on the inside space there. And the inside width as well, just taking that up to the end. So always a little bit fiddly when you're doing this. Uh, let's have a look there, around about 47-ish centimetres on the inside sort of capacity. Uh, so it is going to be very similar on the other side. There again, it's looking like about 16 centimetres. And this is going to be identical because it is obviously you've got the symmetry there. I will just measure it for you though. So uh, there that is just just under 70 centimetres on the inside. And here, again, it's looking like around about 47 centimetres. They're the same as that. You do have an additional pocket here. So again, if you're putting loose items in there, and then you've got some instructions here, which I'm guessing for the combination code um, to set the, uh, reset the uh, combination code on this unit. So if I just take that out, so you've got a, you've got a brief owner's manual in there and it tells you how to change the code. So that is the Antler suitcase. Um, I've actually purchased this directly off the Antler website. They've got quite a good sale on. I think this normally uh, retails for about 240 pounds ish. And at the moment, pick that up for around about 169 pounds. So, uh, for a suitcase like this, that seems quite good value. There's the antler mark. So prior to this, I used to have the Ted Baker suitcases. Um, they were very similar to size, dimensions and everything else, except the Ted Baker uh, logo on here. And we had a number of these suitcases, all of them, it just came off. So you ended up having a Ted Baker suitcase with a plain piece of metal there, which looked really tacky. So at least on this one, an antler, it seems to be built into there rather than the Ted Baker, where they seem to have gone with a cheaper option of almost putting a sticker on there. So seems good. Um, and check it out on the antler website. Hope you've enjoyed this video. We hope you enjoyed watching this. So please feel free to hit the like button and remember to subscribe for great upcoming videos. Thank you and see you next time.